I'm Larry Hensman. I'm the director of the International Arctic Research Center at the University of Alaska in Fairbanks. And right now, this week, we're at the uh, American Geophysical Union in uh, San Francisco, California. The AGU meeting has been a very important meeting for the University of Alaska. Uh, it's the largest gathering of geophysicists or, or physical scientists in the world. And the uh, University of Alaska Fairbanks has always had a very strong presence here. It's been a very important meeting for us. At this meeting alone, there will be 20,000 people from around the world. It draws a very large number of researchers from across the United States, but also Europe, Canada, Russia, um, Asian countries. The AGU has many sections. They have uh, sections on atmospheric sciences, biogeosciences, geodesy, ge geomagnetism and paleomagnetism, hydrology, ocean sciences, planetary sciences, seismology, space physics and aeronomy, tectonophysics and volcanology, geochemistry and petrology. And UAF has a strong presence in all of those. Um, there are also many focus groups, that is, interdisciplinary groups that are uh, looking at uh, crossing many, many disciplines of science. And two of those include the uh, cryo cryospheric sciences and the uh, global environmental change. And UAF plays a very strong presence in both of those. The number of presentations from UAF scientists down here is, is huge. We have about uh, almost 200 presentations this year in poster and oral presentations. And all of those, or almost all of those, have multiple authors. And so the UAF presence here at AGU is just, just predominant. This is a wonderful place for our researchers and our students to come and see the latest in equipment, the latest in uh, evolution of design of sensors, and also to, to demonstrate their instruments to vendors as far as for uh, maybe marketing of new, new equipment and new sensors. This is a wonderful opportunity for us to recruit new students, to meet students and uh, other, other potential faculty members. We've recruited a lot of, of uh, new researchers to, to come to the University of Alaska through this meeting here. So there, there is, uh, there's a tremendous amount of work that's going on right now with respect to, to climate change. The Arctic is really changing dramatically, and the UAF researchers are really leading the role in that. There are also many new, very large research programs ongoing now in the Arctic, and these are for researchers from across the nation and across the world who are participating in those. I'm Peter Webley. I'm an assistant research professor um, at the Geophysical Institute at the University of Alaska. I'm here at the uh, exhibitors booth of the uh, um, American Geophysical Union Conference. It's one of the world's leading conferences um, in geophysical sciences with over 20,000 attendees. Um, there's about an abstract for every attendee. Um, and you come here and you look through and you see the UAF's presence. And so if you picked 100 presentations from AGU, there'd be one of them from the UAF which is an impressive statistic when you think of uh, UAF and the size of AGU. We're on the level with um, Stanford, uh, University of Stanford, which is just down the road here in California, has an equivalent presence here that UAF does. Um, we're higher than places like Princeton's presence. Uh, the Geophysical Institute itself is on par with Scripps Institute of Oceanography and uh, Lamont Doherty Observatory at the University of Columbia. So you th current students have a fantastic opportunity to see the ongoing world-leading research from everywhere from any university across the globe, they come here, people from the UK, people from any, everywhere in Europe. So the students not only see the research going on in their topic, but everything that's involved in geophysical sciences. All of the GI's groups are represented, everything from atmospheric science through remote sensing to education. There's a massive be um, benefit to the, to the UEF's presence here in the exhibitors hall with all the, each of the different groups that originally had their own booths coming together because you get to benefit from each other you get the ability to see how UAF research is not individual to a department or to an institute, but it's across all departments and institutes. So you see people coming from engineering, you see people coming from the Geophysical Institute, they can work together, you see people from IARC. You can see how the research is cross-institutional boundaries within the UAF. So you're not on your own in your own institute, you are UAF as a whole. What's great about coming to Co-AGU to and, and, and for UAF people to come here, it's just, it's just uh, meeting other, other scientists and building upon what UAF already has. UAF is one of the world leaders in geophysical sciences and I, and I think coming here show, shows that and also allows us to build and develop. It's just a unique experience that you just don't get at any other type of conference and having this presence for UAF here is just amazing and it's, it makes me feel you've got like UEF is doing the right thing in terms of its research endeavors.